Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I posted a video, um, but I'll have a video about that, uh, you know, why I really haven't been posting. I'll have that later, because today uh, I'm making this video to talk about the new EP by DJ Roswell entitled Socks. So if you don't know who DJ Roswell is, he is a producer from West Virginia who started releasing music under the DJ Roswell name in 2014. His first release, entitled None of This Is Real, it was basically known as a rogue-like album. What I mean by this is you're supposed to shuffle the album and put on a crossfade of five to six seconds and then listen to the record. Not only is it one of my favorite albums of the year it came out, but it's also one of my favorite albums that came out last decade, and I'll put a link to it in the description if you'd like to listen to it. And earlier this year, when I was writing for my school's newspaper, I got the chance to reach out to DJ Roswell and interview him, which led to him reaching out to me and asking me to review this EP today. So full disclosure, I got an early copy of this record, um, and him and I have shared friendly talks before, but I also want to make it clear that I did not decide to review this, you know, to fluff up him or to appease him or anything like that. He didn't really, you know, tell me how to write it in any way. So I just wanted to get that out the way. Full disclosure, DJ Roswell sent this to me. I've spoken to DJ Roswell before, but I did not know him before I started listening to his music. I just ended up reaching out to him after becoming a fan. But let's get to talking about Socks. Now, Socks is a short EP. It's only four tracks and about 16 minutes long. And due to this length, I feel like it would make sense to just talk about every single track for a couple of reasons. The first one is due to its length, and the second one would be more due to the fact that I don't really find this to be that cohesive of a project. Sure, all of the songs go into each other, and it's not like the differences between the songs are night and day or anything crazy like that. But what I will say is that it doesn't really look like there was that much effort putting into making this into the most cohesive experience on the planet or anything like that. So the EP gets started with the disgustingly titled Coming, Coming in, in Socks. Socks. And the way that it starts out is much more rock influenced than anything that you would really hear from an earlier DJ Roswell cut. It's got this really mechanical guitar riff that sounds very unnatural and uncanny. But I mean this in a positive way because that's really a staple of what DJ Roswell's sound is. Uncanny. But really, what I notice about this song is that DJ Roswell does have his own style and one that even though you can really hear the influence of artists like Tobacco and there's like a MIDI break in the song where you can kind of hear One of Tricks Point Never, you can still tell that it's a DJ Roswell track. He definitely has his own style and that is definitely something to be admired about the artist. But what I will say is that this song lacks development. It kind of runs around in circles, maybe adding an instrument here and there or adding kind of like a solo or something like that you know here and there but for the most part it kind of just repeats, repeats itself, itself and repeats, repeats itself, itself and repeats, and repeats itself. itself the drums don't really develop um the guitar doesn't really develop the only thing that really develops is we get this weird very muffled vocal melody type of sound that doesn't sound like vocals really but it really does remind me of what tobacco would do on his projects where he just he muffles his voice and adds filters to the point where you can't even really tell that it's a vocal line anymore. So right off the bat, I'm not super duper impressed with the EP. And I think that the second track entitled The Secret Shoppers kind of leads it in the same direction. It kind of muddles around this um, noisy solo with some really upfront drums for about two minutes, but it doesn't really go anywhere with it, um, and it doesn't really do anything that I haven't heard done better on a previous DJ Roswell cut on anything he's released before. However, at the end of the song, for about the last minute when a more organic drum beat comes in and picks up, it really increases the energy of the song and really sends it out super strongly. And it's easily the best part of the album up to this point, or the best part of the EP, at least. It's a very satisfying way for the track to end, especially after the, that first two minutes where I was kind of getting worried that this EP was just kind of going to run itself in circles. And next up, we have the longest track in the album, which is The Hypnotized Guts. This one definitely sounds the most like a classic DJ Roswell cut. The The more rock influences are a little bit more muted here, and while it's definitely noisy and it's definitely uncanny, many things on none of this is real were noisy and uncanny, and I think this follows suit. I can still pick up some influences from Tobacco, but really you get to see the difference between like a Tobacco sound and a DJ Roswell sound 
with a track like this because Tobacco wouldn't really be, although he does have an influence from this kind of style, he wouldn't really be seeping his instrumentation in that creepy retro VHS, like old Commodore 64 video game style that DJ Roswell seems to have an affinity for. And that really is a key thing that I think that DJ Roswell does that I really enjoy about his sound and what I don't think many hip hop or electronic producers really do anymore, if at all. It definitely has more development than the previous two tracks, but what I will say is that that repetitive drum beat kind of does wear out its welcome over the course of its almost six minute runtime. And closing the album, we have Green Jeans, which features Brian Decoy. Not 100% what Brian Decoy does on here, but what I can say is that this track is definitely the most stand out in terms of not really sounding like something that DJ Roswell has gone super into before in terms of a sound. There's a super noticeable garage type of drum pattern, like UK garage, future garage, that type of sound. And that really showcases itself in the drums with like kind of like the, the skittering drum patterns and that whole sound that is associated with garage music. But as always, this is given a shot of Roswell's style as those uncanny retro synths swirl around the mix and it's really unmistakably Roswell's music. Overall, I'd say that it's a pretty strong way to end the EP for a couple of reasons. The first one being that this is really one of the strongest cuts on the album. It's got some of the best development. I like how it kind of goes into a little ambient section before closing out with a slightly different sounding future drum skittering pattern break. And the other one being the fact that it does have those skittering patterns and that really does something to distinguish this track from the rest of the EP, which while you do get varying degrees of older and newer DJ Roswell sounds on the rest of it. I don't recall ever really hearing him doing this style on anything before, and it made me kind of curious to see what would happen if he made like a dungeon crawly VHS laden future garage album. Like that would be pretty interesting. I'm not saying he has to make it, but it would be really interesting to hear. Overall though, I'm not really sure what to make of Sox EP in the end. At a very short four tracks and 16 minutes, there really isn't much on here that really distinguishes itself, minus the last track, from the rest of DJ Roswell's career, and there's really not much here that I would go to above, you know, a None of This Is Real or anything like that. But what these tracks do showcase is that six years after None of This Is Real, DJ Roswell can still make these tracks that sound uniquely like himself, and while I don't think this would be a good starting place for a new DJ Roswell fan, I would definitely recommend going back to, to None of This Is Real. I think that this shows that the future for DJ Roswell is going to be an interesting one. He's definitely one of the most interesting electronic and hip-hop producers in the game right now. One who definitely deserves more recognition for how interesting his style is and his ability to, you know, wear his influences on his sleeves while also showing that he is his own artist and he's not just out here to copycat a tobacco or copycat a DJ Shadow or copycat a Boards of Canada or etc. I definitely say that there are some serious issues with development um, in terms of the songs in general. I think a lot of the songs do kind of, like I said earlier, run in circles around themselves. But I would say that the sound play throughout the album is interesting and in some tracks it kind of makes up for it. It definitely leaves me looking forward to see what DJ Roswell does next at least. Like I said, I really wouldn't suggest starting with with this Sox EP due to the fact that there are better DJ Roswell songs on different DJ Roswell albums. Like I said, try none of this is real, but I am pretty comfortable giving this EP a medium to high 6 out of 10. Like I said, if you'd like to read my interview with DJ Roswell, I'll link that in the description. If you'd like to pre-order or if it's out by then, listen to this EP, I'll link that in the description. And I'll definitely link DJ Roswell's general Bandcamp page so you can just give his really interesting discography a try. So until next time, everyone, I'm Alex. You've been watching the Alexa channel. I can't say that I'm going to be uploading as frequently as I used to or I'm going to be setting myself on a schedule just because of everything that's going on right now. Um, but I'm hoping to be uploading more reviews, videos in general, etc. I might upload a couple of my college projects, but this is all a story for the next video I make. So until next time, I will see all of you later. Like, comment, subscribe, do all of that, and check out DJ Roswell stuff, man. See you later.